Argentina started poorly, failing to deal with Mexico's intense pressure as Messi was deprived of time and space to maneuver, even though they knew another loss would eliminate them from the tournament. Messi equaled Diego Maradona's Argentina record of 21 games and 8 goals at the World Cup when he scored the game's first goal in the 64th minute, firing a low effort through a swarm of players and into the corner. The majority of the 88,966 spectators, who were from Argentina, exploded. In Qatar, there are already more than 5,000 Argentina supporters, with a beautiful arcing strike in the 87th minute, Enzo Fernandez secured the victory. After winning a corner for Argentina on the left side, Fernandez was able to slalom toward the corner of the penalty area before launching a powerful shot that curled into the top right corner of the net. As a result, Fernandez scored the first goal for Argentina at a World Cup since Messi did so in 2006. Argentina's next World Cup begins today. According to Messi, who spoke after the final horn, I often advise them that they should keep believing, we didn't play well in the first half, but as we calmed down, we started to play the ball better in the second half, to have any hope of advancing to the round of 16, as they have in each of the last seven World Cups, Mexico, who has now lost all four of its matches against Argentina, needs to defeat Saudi Arabia, who has three points. An electrifying atmosphere was created inside and outside the stadium by the two sets of fans as tensions were high on and off the ball in a scruffy first half due to the possibility of an Argentina elimination. With neither team wanting to commit too many men forward, the first half fell short of expectations. There were few opportunities, save for a free kick by Mexico's Luis Chavez in the ninth minute that flew beyond the goalmouth. The majority of Mexico's opponents' offense was limited by their aggressive pressing style, and Argentinian talisman Messi found it difficult to move about in a crowded midfield. Andres Guardado, Mexico's captain and a veteran of five World Cups, was forced to leave the game in the 42nd minute due to injury. Guardado had previously been a dominant presence in the middle of the field, however, the Mexican still managed to create two more opportunities before halftime. Alexis Vega first curled a free kick over the wall for goalkeeper Emiliano Martinez to save. And then he fired a shot over the crossbar minutes later, after the half, the South Americans were more committed, but they had little chance of winning until their 35-year-old captain pulled them out of danger with his second goal of the competition, reviving his chances of capturing a first-ever World Cup trophy.